Heavenly Father, thank you that we can rest our faith in your promise found in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11 that says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So Lord, we're grateful for the privilege of lifting up in prayer before you one of the most significant yet unreached parts of the world, Finland. Significant because of the rich heritage of its past in the great revival movement which birthed the Lutheran Church and influenced the spirituality of 80% of its population. And yet sadly, except for the remaining 12%, The rest now regard the Lutheran Church as a nominal or social attachment. Lord, we pray for the challenges of liberalism which have ushered in a broader morality, causing much controversy and resulting in much thwarting of the pure message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Still we praise you, Father, as we see your grace at work in the midst of such perversion of the truth, in having raised up a small remnant of independent and lay groups of believers from a revivalist background, determined to stay committed to their faith in Christ in the face of increasing restrictions from their liberal Lutheran hierarchy. Lord, our hearts go out to these folks and the younger generation. They need our prayers, Lord. We ask that you sustain them and encourage them not to lose heart. We ask that you open doors for them in many leadership positions to be your true witnesses and to replace the traditional religious and cultural forms of a fading past with a fresh revelation of eternal life and truth found only in placing their personal faith in the person of Jesus Christ. We pray, Father, that you will open their eyes and reveal your heart of love for all the people of Finland. We pray that you will shower on them the spirit of repentance and renewal, softening the hearts of their president, as well as the old and young from all walks of life and vocation, and enabling them to receive your greatest love gift, the Lord Jesus Christ. May he find a dwelling place in their searching hearts and reign as their Savior and Lord. And may they all in turn find the only hope left for their future as a thriving people and nation and the blessed fulfillment of your promise in Jeremiah 29, 11. In Jesus' name, Lord, receive our prayer.